Hey guys, today we're going to answer the question, how do I find the volume of triangular prisms? So let's review a triangular prism really quick. It has two parallel and congruent triangular bases. I'm going to be shading our triangular bases in green, joined by three rectangles. And then the height, which I will shade in pink, connects the bases, or I'll circle in pink, it connects the bases. And then to find the area of the triangle, we are going to use one of the two area formulas for a triangle, which is one half BH or BH divided by two. This is the one that I'll be using. So volume of triangular prisms can be found by V equals BH, where B is the area of the base. So to find the volume, we will find the area of the triangular base. And since it's a triangle, I'll be using the formula BH divided by two, and then we will multiply it by the height of the prism. As you can see, we have two different heights that we're dealing with, which can get kind of confusing and why it's important to label these. We're gonna have the height of the triangle, and then we're also gonna have the height of the prism. So make sure you are labeling to keep straight which height is which. So let's practice labeling. I'm going to shade my base in green. My bases are the triangles. I'll have to find the area of those. And then I'll multiply it by the height, which is gonna be the distance between the two bases. I really don't know why they call it the height because it's not always what we think of as height from like top to bottom. It's just what connects the two bases. So in words, to find the volume of the triangular prism, we are gonna multiply the area of the triangular bases, I'm gonna use base times height divided by two, by the height of the prism. Okay, so let's do that on number one. Very first thing that we want to do is shade our bases and circle the height of the prism because to find the volume of a prism, we do V equals BH. So my bases are these triangles. And then the height of the prism is nine. The height is nine. Once I plug that in, a lot of the times I like to cross that out so I don't accidentally use that when I'm finding the area of the base. The area of the base is this triangle right here. I don't need the side lengths of the triangle to find the area, so I'm gonna ignore those numbers. I need these numbers down here. I need the base and the tri height of the triangle to find the area of it. So to find the area of the base, the area of the triangle, I'm gonna do the base of five times the height of four divided by two. And I get 20 divided by two for the base, so the area of the base is 10. So to find the volume, I'll do the area of the base I just found 10 times that height of the prism that connected my two bases, nine. And 10 times nine is 90. So the volume of this triangular prism is 90 centimeters cubed. Okay, let's look at number two. I wanna find the volume of this triangular prism. So I'm gonna need the area of the base and then multiply it by the height. So here is my bases, here are my bases, the triangles. And the distance that connects them that I'm gonna use for my height in the volume would be 16. So I'm gonna plug in 16 for the height and then I'm gonna cross it out so I don't accidentally use it. Now I'm just focusing on the triangle, which I need to find the area of by doing base times height of the triangle divided by two. So the base of this triangle is this distance right here, which is eight, and that forms a right angle with 2.5. So the base and the height of the triangle are eight and 2.5. So it's gonna be eight times 2.5 divided by two to find the area of the triangle. And eight times 2.5 is 20. And 20 divided by two is 10. So the area of the base is 10. So to find the volume, I'll do 10 times 16. So the volume of the triangular prism is 160 inches cubed.
Okay, number three, it wants us to find the volume of this triangular prism. So I will do area of the base times the height. So let's identify the triangular bases right here. And then I need to identify the distance between these bases for the height of the prism. And the distance between these two bases is 13. So I'm gonna plug in 13 into my formula and then I'm gonna cross it out so I don't accidentally use it again. Now I need to find area of the base by doing the base times height of the triangle and then dividing by two. So the base and the height of the triangle are nine and 12 since those form a right angle. So to find the area of the base, I will do 12 times nine divided by two and 12 times nine is 108. So to find the area of the base, I'll do 108 divided by two. So the area of the base is 54. So now to find the volume, I need to do 54 times 13. So the volume of this triangular prism is 702 meters cubed. Okay, number four, I have another triangular prism. I'm gonna find the volume of. So let's start by identifying our bases, which are these triangles. And then I'm gonna circle the distance between them for my height. So the formula is V equals area of the base times the height. I found my height, it was 24. I'm gonna cross it out so I don't accidentally use it again. And then to find capital B, the area of the base, I need to multiply the base times the height of the triangle and divide it by two. The base and the height of the triangle form a right angle, so this distance is the base, which is 22, and then the height is 20. So I'll do 22 times 20 divided by two to find the area of the base. So first thing I need to do is 22 times 20, which is 440. So the area of the base is going to be 440 divided by two. So the area of the base is 220. So I'm gonna replace B with 220. So to find the volume, I'll do 220 times 24. So the volume of this triangular prism is 5,280 millimeters cubed. Okay, let's look at number five. Jason purchases the two candy bars below. What is the difference in the volume of the two candy bars? So I'm gonna need to find the volume of the two candy bars and subtract to find the difference in them. So let's start with this one right here. I'll need to do V equals BH to find the volume of it. Let's start by shading the bases and circling our height. The height of that prism is 13. I'm gonna cross it out because I'm done with it now. And now I need to find the area of the base by doing the base times the height divided by two. So it'll be four times five divided by two, which is 20 divided by two. So the area of the base of that prism is 10. So to find the volume of that shape, I will do 10 times 13. So the volume of that candy bar is 130 centimeters cubed. Okay, now I need to find the volume of this second candy bar. So it's gonna be the same process. I'll do area of the base times the height. So let's identify our bases. Be right here. 
and the height is going to be seven. So it looks like they have the same bases, just different heights. The other height was 13, this height is seven. To find the area of the base, we're still gonna do four times five, since that's the base and the height of the triangular base here, and then divide it by two. So it'll be 20 divided by two, which is 10 like the last one, since these had the same dimensions. So to find the volume of this triangular prism, we will do 10, the area of the base, times seven, which is 70 centimeters cubed. And now I just want to find the difference in their volumes. So I'm going to subtract 130 and 70. And 130 minus 70 is 60. So the difference in their volumes was 60 centimeters cubed. Okay, let's look at number six. It says Rachel has a gift box shaped like a triangular prism. The area of the base is 15 centimeters squared and the volume of the gift box is 60 centimeters cubed. What is the height of the gift box? So I'm going to write down my formula, V equals BH, and then write out any information that they gave me. So they did give me the volume, that's what I highlighted in purple, it was 60. And then they gave me capital B, the area of the base, what I highlighted in green, it was 15. And then they want me to find the height. So I'm gonna plug in what I have into my formula and then I will have an equation that I can solve for H. So the volume was 60 equals area of the base was 15 times H. That's what I'm looking for, the height. So now to get h by itself, I'm just going to divide by 15, the opposite of multiplying, and 60 divided by 15 is 4. So that means that the height of this prism would be 4 centimeters.